Hello and welcome back to the farm. So, it's been a busy morning. I just want to give you an update of what's happened. I obviously woke up early, did a lot of jobs, um, kind of just carried on as normal really. And then I got a phone call from the police and they told me that they'd found my tractor way off in the distance, somewhere over to the east of the farm. Um, yep, yeah, and basically my uh, tractor was vandalised and set on fire so really bad news really upsetting news really but there's nothing I can do about it now um, they said they just found it had a, had a report saying that it was something on fire they went there saw it was my tractor um, I haven't been up to it I don't think I will there's no point they're gonna obviously recover it and it's scrap now so so I just need to get in touch with the insurance company really um, go through the procedure with them to get um, some form of reimbursement uh, that's obviously included with my insurance I think I said before it was around 4,400 so it's not too much it's not enough for me to get a new tractor but it is what it is so yeah I mean in a way I don't understand why the, why this had happened why someone would steal the tractor and then set it on fire the only thing I can think of and the police have told me the same is we obviously spooked them and they thought it's the only way to get rid of it. Maybe they couldn't sell it or whatever they were trying to do. So they just set it on fire to kind of remove any evidence. But hopefully we'll catch the people that did it. And the police will do the job. Hopefully they'll do a good job and, and uh, we'll, we'll get them. Nothing I can do about it. So we're just going to move on. And we'll carry on as normal. The best we can. So the police and the firemen, they'll be going soon. Uh, they've nearly done up. They've got everything they need. Um, so they'll be going in a sec. Uh, but it's midday, it's 12 o'clock, um, I've done quite a lot of work. Um, overnight we got 9,000 again for the silage, the two trails that we've taken yesterday, so we got some more money there. I've done some mowing this morning, I finished off this side, we're going to do silage on this side here. The grass over there still hasn't dried out, so we're not, we're not close to making hay yet, so we'll have to leave that for a little bit. But yeah, this field's all mowed. Um, Use that new mower, it was really good. So we're going to bale that off today. We're going to make um, some silage bales, wrap them, leave them out in the field. We're also going to take these trailers. I've filled two more trailers up silage. Kind of emptied the silage pit really well now. Ready to put the silage bales in there for storage. Just quickly show you where we're at with it. So that's about perfect for what I need now. And it's about you know there's a few buckets full there left so that's good enough for me i fed the cows watered them cleaned them out all that kind of stuff so they're happy um yeah i did all this before actually the police showed up so i mean the day was going really well until then i honestly thought we'd get that tractor back for some reason but hey yo yeah my truck as well vernon's coming around at any point um from yesterday when i went to speak to him last night He's on his way at some point today. Um, he promised he'd come round and have a look at it. So when he gets here, hopefully he'll fix it straight up. Um, and then we can get this up and running. That'll be good news. So also this morning, after I fed the cows, before I did the mowing and anything else, uh, I put the CCTV up. That came early this morning. It arrived around 9, so we put the CCTV up. Um, got 10 cameras, so it's a lot better. Makes the place a lot more secure with it being so open. And if anyone does come on on the farm again, you know, we'll have on camera. And we've also got night vision on there, so that'll work really well. In a, in a way, it's been a productive day. I've done a lot. Uh, Money-wise, we've got obviously 9,000 and probably another 9,000 coming in from these two trailers. So that'll bring me up to over 30,000. I've been in contact as well this morning with the people that did the shed over there. Um, I've asked them if they could come in. Give me a quote for putting a shed up there for the bales. Um, it's not going to be a big one, it's still going to cost a few thousand, uh, but we've got enough money for that now and I think that's the priority. So hopefully they can come in soon, uh, give me a quote and we can come up with some kind of design that will fit just nicely over there. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside, um, let these guys finish off, get them on the way. And hopefully at some point Vernon will turn up as well. Okay, the police are all done, they're on the way, so that's that. It looks like Vernon's here. Good timing. 
Right, what I'll do is I'll speak to Vernon, see what the plan is, um, and then after that we'll um, we'll probably do some work in the fields. Hi Vernon. What was all that about? What, the police? Um, yeah, um, basically I just had a, an incident where I had one of my tractors stolen and they found it this morning, set alight, so they've been around just to obviously go through all the formalities. Not very good really, but nothing I can do about it now. Oh, fair dues. Right, where's this truck? It's here, uh, this is the Chevy Silverado. Chevy Silverado? When you said Silverado, I didn't think it'd be that old. My truck's a Silverado. This is a proper Silverado. Oh yeah, I never noticed yours was a Silverado too. You've got the more modern one though. To be honest, they're both nice trucks. Anyway, let's just get to it. So, do you know anything about the truck? Why is it not starting? Honestly, I haven't got a clue. Um, all I know right now is that it just won't start. I've got some parts. Uh, I've changed the brake pads, brake discs, all that kind of stuff. Suspension sorted. Um, so it's anything to do with probably the engine. You'd know more than me. Or the transmission. I don't know. I'm just trying to guess here. Uh, but yeah, I really haven't got a clue. But I've got some parts. Thinking that I'd need them. Um, so if you want to have a look, they're all in the shed here. Just for, If you look through here, these boxes up here, they're in there. Um, and there's a few down there and then white boxes. If you want to just play about, see what you can do. Um, knowing you, you'll tell me it's something just as simple as the battery. Um, but if it isn't, if it isn't, it needs it, just tell me how much it costs and I'll, I'll uh, sort you out. Leave me alone then so I can get to it. Uh, yeah, okay Vernon, see you in a bit. He's not actually the jolliest of people, but I kind of like him. I don't know why. Do you know what? Talking about batteries, I haven't actually tried to start this up since last year when we did the harvest, so we should probably try that out now. Seems alright. Yeah, that should be fine. Thank God. Yeah, it just made me think, I haven't started that in a while, and if I come to harvest and that word doesn't work and I have to bring ask Vernon to come back down, he won't be happy. Um, so I may as well just check it now. Anyway, we best to do some work. Um, we need to do some baling, um, and then obviously wrapping. We need to take these trailers up there, and then we'll leave Vernon to it, and he'll give us a shout when he's ready. I think what I might do is take the trailers up first, get that out of the way, and then we'll crack on with the work. Right, so I'll take this one first. I think also today I might make my first repayment to the mortgage of 1500 uh, just to get it out of the way. Um, I know it's, it's really flexible at the start, he told me, because of the fact that you know the house isn't even built yet. I think it's probably a good idea to try to start chipping away at that. So we'll do that after we've done this. Right, so that's that done. Um, two trailer loads taken to the BGA. We'll probably get the money overnight again um, after midnight. We'll see what it is. It should be around nine thousand. Uh, but that's that done. That's another job done. So there's just really the bailing off that we need to do before the end of the day. Nice warm day today as well. Twenty-four. A few clouds, but it's still nice and hot. We'll just check how Vernon's getting on. Hi Vernon, how's it going? Fine. 
Okay, so have you found any problem with it, or do you know do you know what the issue is? Yeah, it's sorted. What really? You've done it already. Yeah. Sorted. So what was the, what was the problem? You probably wouldn't understand, but it's sorted now, and that's all that matters. Cool. Thanks for that, Vernon. Uh, I'm just going to start it up, see what it sounds like. Wow. It sounds nice. It sounds good. Done a good job there, Vernon. So, how much do I owe you? Let's call it 500 for time and labour. Uh, I didn't need any of your parts. I would recommend bringing it up, though, to me. Um, you need a new battery. You haven't got one of them. Battery's a bit old. Uh, I've charged it up and it'll start, but it's probably going to die again. Um, you need a new battery at least, um, and I can give it a good service if you bring it up to me. Also, I've had a new tractor, and I know you're interested in another one. Well, I've got a Fiat Agri 140, if you want to have a look at that. Alright, and Vern, it's a good idea. I'll pop up with it and get it, give it a service, and um, you can change the battery for me. Is that included with the 500? No, 500 for today. So you're looking at a thousand pounds for everything. I'll tell you what then. I'll give you a thousand pound now, you give it a service, change the battery, and I'll pay you for today's work and we'll call it quits. Fair dues. Right, there's your thousand pound, thanks for today, I uh, appreciate that, and I'll, and I'll pop up later on, and I'll bring it up and I'll have a look at that tractor. See you later, Vernon. See ya. He's done a good job there, Vernon, nice. he did that really quick, he knows his stuff. 500 quid seems a bit steep, but I thought, you know what, 500 quid and a thousand pounds altogether are giving it a service and, um, you know, put a new battery and all that. May as well. Let's just try it out. Been waiting a while for this truck to start. Definitely needs a new paint job. <laughs> But there she is, the Chevy Silverado, back up and running. Right, so I've just quickly on my phone paid the mortgage, uh, so that's 15, 1500 gone off the mortgage. So, not bad at all, we're already making strides with that, which is good news. So let's get the baler hooked up. Probably going to have to move them out of the way first. Right, so I've just moved out the way this bale spike and the pallet fork. Um, so you can just get attached to this. It's full on net wrap, which is good news. Right, and on we go. It's picking it up nicely. So what I'll do is I'll throw the drone up, we'll get some nice aerial shots, and I'll speed it on up.
Right, so we've done that. Um, all the silage done, all the big bales are done. Wasn't too bad in the end, it took most of the day, but it's a good job done. I have noticed as well with this being like an old baler before that I was using, it's missed quite a few bits, but I mean, that's what you can expect with that using a second hand quite old baler now. So it's done the job, and we got some nice round bales, uh, so it should be good. What I have noticed as well is looking at the grass over here that I want for hay, it looks like it's dried out really well with today being so hot. We're at 27 degrees now, all the clouds have disappeared. So it's done a cracking job and all this um, is ready now to start bailing up if we want to make some hay. But before we do that, we need to try and get a shed put up. Probably take a couple of days to do that from when they come and have a, have a look at the area that I want it to be placed in. And if um, they give me a quote, we, two days later we can get it up but what I can do in the meantime probably tomorrow now with it being late is we'll bail it up and we might store it in one of the sheds that I have and then we'll move it over later on but it's good news that it's dried out uh, it's looking perfect for hay now that is right so what we're going to do now is I'll drop this wrapper off that did a cracking job as well really good wrapper um, then we're going to go take the Chevy to Vernon and hopefully We'll leave it with him probably overnight and he can do it tomorrow, uh, but he can get the service done on it and we can get a new batch of it and it should be all good then, it just it probably needs a um, new paint job after that, but that's something we can't afford just yet. I'm going to leave these two here just because I'm going to get the grass that's in there out, I'm going to clean that out by hand and then we're going to get the jet wash I'll bring it over here and we'll start giving it a clean off tomorrow right we'll take it up you can see that it needs a service you can just hear it it's definitely not um, fully ready yet I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm driving this now um, it's much better than my other truck even though it's probably not fully working order yet after it's had its service it'll be much better but I prefer it it's bigger it's got more horsepower it can probably help out on the farm a lot more and it's obviously a really nice truck uh, the Chevy Silverado is back in the day that um, I prefer them I wasn't going to tell Vernon but I prefer this this look than the newer one so and you can hear that V8 Purse is nice. I think.
think if we leave that there it'll be alright. Is that the new tractor? Well, broken down tractor that he's got in new to fix. The Fiat Agri, 140. It's nice, it is nice. Let's have a look inside. Don't think it'll start, so I'm not even going to try it. Actually, there's no keys in here. Must be what he's working on next, but I like it. Um, he's got some options right now. I mean, I know we can't buy the Matic because that's been sold. But we can buy the... What's it called? The Agro Star. That's for sale. The fence over for sale over there. That's a good option. And obviously the John Deere. And that probably will be up for sale when it's fixed. So if we can't... I mean, we'll still look at the dealership, what they've got to offer second hand, but... I think we can probably bargain a bit better with Vernon, get him down in price. Also, I'd really like one of these slurry tankers. We do need one of them at some point. The slurry pit is filling up with what the cows are generating, but, I mean, we just can't afford one right now. If we're going to do anything, we need a shed, and then we need another tractor, now that we're only down to one on the farm. Anyway, let's go tell Vernon that I've dropped it off, and he can give me a shout tomorrow when he's done it. Hi Vernon, um, I've just dropped the Chevy off, um, I've put it outside your workshop area just over there near the uh, Fiat. I've had a look at the Fiat as well, it's really nice that is, hopefully when you get it up and running I'll have a, a better look at it. But I, I know you've got some nice tractors on offer, so when I get to the point of buying one I'll definitely come and have a look and give it some serious thought, if we can strike a deal together. Okay, no problem, when the Fiat's done I'll let you know, you can have a look then. See you later. See you Vernon. He is a bit of a wheeler and dealer. But do you know what? I like him. He's, he's alright. He's not too bad. Looks like I've got a long walk back. It's been a strange day, actually. It started off pretty well. I was doing a lot of work. And then, with me finding out that tractor had been set alight, it's kind of gone downhill. So there's been a lot of ups and there's been a lot of downs, but we ended well. Truck's running. We've done a lot of work today. All the silaging's done. The hay looks like it's ready. So yeah, we're doing okay. I'm going to leave the video there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.